The CSS box model describes how the size and spacing of an element are calculated. Every element is basically a rectangular box made up of four layers, content, padding, border, and margin. Let us understand that with an example. So over here, I have created a div and given it the class called box, and I've added some text over here in that div. Okay, now let's add some styles to it as well. So I've added width, height, background color, padding, border, and margin to it as follows. Okay, now let's look at the output in the browser. So over here, we can clearly see we have our particular uh, div over here with its styles. Now to better understand the four properties, let's look at the elements tab in the console. So the very first thing you've got to do is open your console and over here you'll see this elements tab. Just click on it. And now before you, you know, do anything, just make sure you have selected the correct div. Okay. So over here you go in body and select this div without fail. Okay. Now if you scroll down a bit, you'll see this particular box. Okay. So the content is this actual area where the text box model example is displayed. Uh, you can see it is highlighted in this bluish color. Next padding, which we had given as 20 pixels. That is basically the space between the content and the border. Remember padding pushes the content inwards. And if you increase the padding, it will just, you know, push the content more inwards. Okay. Border, we had given five pixels. And as you all can see, that is this outline that was reddish in color. And now it is highlighted in this pinkish color. And margin is the space outside the border separating this element from the others. We had given it a value of 30 pixels. And that is what the box model is in CSS.